In this video, we're going to be doing another comparison of On One Photo Raw 2024.5's recently updated masking with Adobe Lightroom's Object Select Masking. Which one is better? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. While Adobe has been getting a lot of negative press these days, credit has to be given to the company for being the first to implement object masking, which they did way back in October 2022 when Lightroom 12 was released with select people, select objects, and select background. For the longest time, they have been far and away the leader in AI object masking. And even after On One released Super Select AI a year later, there was still a wide gap between Lightroom and the rest of the field. But this year, On One has further upgraded Super Select AI. So now the question has to be asked, have they caught up to Lightroom or is Lightroom still the far away leader? To do the comparison, let's first work with this image, which I used in my last comparison video. In that video, every editor, including On One, had difficulty getting a perfect selection on the tree, as you can see here. Let's see if Lightroom does a better job. First, let's try selecting the boat. Next, Let's select the tree. As you can see, the result is similar. Lightroom was also unable to get a perfect selection. And that goes for select subject as well. As such, I would judge the accuracy of its object masking as just about the same as on one. Lightroom though has an advantage in that it allows you to refine the object mask with other tools with select sky, something on one does not have. I'll subtract the sky from the selection. As you can see, the mask is now perfectly fitting. If select sky fails, Lightroom also supports refining the object mask via luminosity range, which is something on one does not support. With On One, even though it has a luminosity mask, you can't use it to refine an already existing object mask. Only a brush will work. Let's move on to the next image. While On One supports using Super Select AI to select every part of the person, Lightroom goes a step further in that it has two methods of masking via the People Masking panel or via object masking. As you can see, both work great. One advantage of people masking is you could perform batch processing. For example, to auto detect faces in a batch of portraits to brighten it. So those are some advantages of Lightroom over On One. But what about the advantages of On One over Lightroom? To understand the advantages, let's work with this image. Let's say I want to brighten the person and the tree. One advantage of On One's workflow is its simplicity. First, you get direct access to the Super Select button. With one click, you are ready to perform object selection. Selection is also simpler. You have a choice of simply clicking or dragging over the object. On One will also preview the selection as you hover over the object. Also, once you have made the selection, you can continue clicking or dragging as many times as you want to add to or by just using the Option or Alt key to delete from the selection. It's a very easy workflow. In contrast to On One, Lightroom's workflow is now looking much less elegant and far more dated. For example, to go into object selection mode, there is no direct button you have to select from a menu. To perform a selection, unlike On One, you cannot simply just click to select. You either paint over or drag a rectangle over an object. Also, there is no previewing of a selection by hovering, as you can get with On One. Another issue with Lightroom is to refine the mask, you need to constantly click the Add or Subtract button, as you can see here which is a more tedious experience. You can see people complaining about this on the web. Also, as you create or refine multiple masks, 
Lightroom will add a multitude of layers, sub-layers, and thumbnails to the interface, which quickly becomes very complicated to look at. While this information is nice to have, it also feels like some of these elements are unnecessary and just overly clutter the interface. So that was the comparison of On One and Lightroom's masking in 2024. What is the bottom line? While Lightroom still has the more sophisticated masking system through its unique select sky, select subject, people masking, and masking operations, if we are just focusing in object masking performance, which is the most important type of masking. I think On One has certainly caught up. I didn't detect any significant difference in masking accuracy. Also, the masking process in On One is much simpler and more intuitive. It takes less clicks and doesn't produce an overly convoluted interface when creating multiple masks. In short, while Lightroom used to blow out the competition with its masking, it no longer is the case, which is only good for the customer. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which one you prefer for object masking, on one or Lightroom. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.